गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द ई लर्निंग क्लासेस प्रोवाइडेड बाय संत माइकल्स एकेडमी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर 7 ऑफ क्लास 3 इंट्रोडक्शन टू एमएस वर्ड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन मैच द फॉलोइंग सो वी हैव टू मैच द कॉलम ए टू कॉलम बी सो फर्स्ट वन इज क्विक एक्सेस टू वर्ड सो क्विक एक्सेस टू वर्ड इट विल मैच विद option e so it shows the most frequently used commands second one is title bar and it will match with option d so it shows the program and the documents title and the name it shows the program and the documents title and the names third one is the document area so it will match with option a so it, it is the area where you can type the text so third one document area it will match with option a it shows the area where you can type the text fourth one tabs so it will match with b so menu representing the group of tasks so tab it will match with option b menus representing the group of tasks fifth one insertion point so it will match with option c so it is seen as flashing vertical bar So fifth one insertion point it will match with C. So it is seen as the flashing vertical bar. Now question two, write down the missing steps to complete the following tasks. So we have to write the missing steps to complete the following tasks. First one, start the MS Word. First we have to click on start. Then go to the all programs. And then we have to select the MS Office 2007, and then we have to select the MS Word to start the MS Word. Second one to create the new document. So first we have to click on the File tab. Then we have to click on New, and then we have to select the blank document. And after selecting the blank document, we have to click on Create to create the new document in MS Word. Third one is open an existing document. So to open an existing document, we have to first click on the file tab, and then we have to select the open option, and then we have to select the file or search the file, and then we when we find that file, we have to use the open option to open an existing document in MS Word. Fourth one, save a file for the first time. So to save a file for the first time, first we have to click on the file tab, and then we have to click on Save As. So Save As dialog box will appear. Then we have to select the location and type in the name. After giving the location and the name to the file, we have to click on Save button to save the file. Fifth one. Print a Word document. So to print a Word document, first we have to click on the File tab, and then we have to click on Print option. So we have then we have to fill in the required details, and then we have to click on the Print button to print the Word file. Now question three, give one word answer. So first one, the blue bar on the top of the window displays the name of the document. is called title bar second one it is a special program with features and tools to make the text look more attractive and the answer to this question is word processor third one plays on the left side of the title bar and contains the frequently used commands so answer is quick access tool bar fourth one the area you type the text so answer is the document area the rectangular box just below the title bar containing all the tabs and command is called ribbon now question 4 answer the following questions question 1 what is a word processor give an example so answer to this question is a word processor is a special program that has to work with text and it usually has lots of features and tools to make the text look more attractive and the example is ms word now question 2 what is the function of ribbon so answer to this question is so the ribbon is the rectangular area just below the title bar so it contains all the tools and commands which helps to make the type text more attractive Now question three, which key helps to move the cursor to the beginning and the end 
of the line. So answer to this question is so the city R M plus Mo K places the cursor before the first character in the document, and the city R M plus N K helps to place the cursor at the end of the document. Now question four. How does the quick access toolbar helps? So answer to this question is so it is on the left side of the title bar. And it contains the frequently used commands such as the save as option to redo and undo in MS Word. And it can be also customized to add more options to the quick access toolbar. So in this way we have finished the exercise of chapter 7 of class 3, introduction to MS Word. So revise this chapter and do the exercise in your copy. And stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much.